The SAR number, Specific Absorption Rate. It's the government's measure of how much your cell phone is treating you like a bag of microwave popcorn. It's expressed as watts absorbed per kilogram of body mass. But nobody is really sure what it tells us. Nonetheless, it remains the only yardstick you've really got now in our third decade of this debate over whether a cell phone causes cancer. So with all that in mind, here are the top five smartphones of 2010 that rate high with CNET and low on their SAR number. Number five, the Samsung Vibrant, CNET rating of 8.3 and a SAR number of 0.89, just over half the legal limit of 1.6, pretty low. This T-Mobile Android phone is a looker with a 4-inch AMOLED screen and 16 gigabytes of memory as well as speedy performance all around. But much of that helps make the battery life a bit soft and that beautiful screen is way nicer than the plasticky case around it. Oh, and no flash with the camera. Auto mission. Number four is another Sammy, the Epic 4G on Sprint. CNET rating 8.7 and SAR rating just .68, under half the limit. This guy can utilize Sprint's 4G network where available, and it's got just about everything else, including 5 megapixel camera, another big AMOLED display, and it can be a hotspot for up to five other devices. Unfortunately, all that stuff needs a place to live, and the Epic is just plain epic in size. Number three is the HTC Legend on, well, not really on any carrier in North America, because it isn't compatible with 3G networks here. Hmm. But if it works where you are, you'll enjoy a phone with a CNET rating of 8.3 and a SAR number of just .56, nice and low. Another Android phone here, another AMOLED screen, but mixed results from its built-in camera. The number two smartphone on our list is the Samsung Fascinate on Verizon. CNET rating 8.3, SAR number a mere .57. Sister phone to the Vibrant we saw earlier, but on Verizon in this case, and with some service tweaks, including the annoying lock-in of its search function tied to Microsoft Bing. Before we look at the number one smartphone in this list of clean ones, let's update that SAR story. The FCC recently announced it's no longer sure what the hell this number means, and that any phone, in its opinion, under the 1.6 SAR limit is as safe as any other, which doesn't really make any sense because the number represents radiation absorbed by body mass. Doesn't more mean more? So while the mystery continues, the choice to play it safe remains yours. Which brings us to the number one smartphone on our list today, the Samsung Captivate. CNET rating, 8.3. SAR number, just .42. That's like a quarter of the legal limit. This phone is the virtual twin of the Fascinate and the Vibrant, but running on AT&T. So notice how the phone you buy is not the only factor in radiation. The network it's on has a big impact. Another reason to think about carrier and phone when you're making a choice. For all our smartphone reviews, go to CNET's cell phone section and to CNET's SAR ratings, which sort them by maker as well as by top 20 cleanest and dirtiest. I'm Brian Cooley. Thanks for watching.